Good afternoon. My name is Dan Love. I'm with the Business One North American Solution Expert Team, and I'd like to do a quick overview demo of the new B1 service mobile app for Business One on SAP HANA. I'm going to do it from the perspective of a technician named Tom Silva, just to kind of show you the simplicity and ease of use of this as a field technician uh, out in working with customers. I've got my uh, iPhone screen in front of you, and I've downloaded the B1 service app, and I've connected it to my B1 HANA system, and I'm going to log in as Tom Silva, and I'm going to process some service calls that have been assigned to me. So click on the app. It's, gonna, it's got my uh, username saved. I'm going to enter my password. Go ahead and click login. And when it logs in, it's going to bring me to my home screen. That's pretty simple. It has two major functions. One of that is the ticket screens, which shows me the tickets that have been assigned to me. Um, and it shows me for the current day. And you can see on this screen, I have three service calls that have been assigned to me. One at 1030, one at 3 p.m., and one at 5 p.m. And assuming we're early in the day and uh, I want to look at kind of where I'm headed to, I'm based out of Toronto, and I'd like to see where these three service calls. So I'm going to click on the map icon next to the today bar. And it's going to drill in and show me exactly where those three service cars all, calls are. And I can see uh, they're all in downtown Toronto and they're not too far from each other. So I shouldn't have... A lot of logistics issues um, getting to my three service calls that are assigned to me today. I'm going to go back to my main screen um, and I can also look at this in another view. If I click on the calendar icon, I can see the calendar icon and I can see um, uh, the 30th is today and it's got a dot next to it, which there is uh, those calls and if I can click on it, I then drill back into the same information. Okay. Uh, if I had other calls assigned to me in the next couple of days, the next four or five days, they'd show up, but I don't. I've only got these three calls that are assigned to me. Um, the other thing I want to show you is I want to show you if I can filter it. If I click on the filter button, by default, it filters to the status of open and all priority calls. But I can uh, do if I just want to see the open high calls. Go ahead and click confirm and it just filters down um, today's calls to just those that are high. I don't want to go reset that back to all. Uh, sorry, open and all. Hit confirm and I'm back to my screen with my three calls. I can see I've got a low, a high, and a medium. And I can actually uh, see a little bit of information about what the uh, ticket is and where it's located. I show you that feature. If I want to go ahead and call my first call, or any of these um, to give them a heads up about uh, when I'm arriving or any questions I might have, I can go ahead and click on the, the telephone and it will pull up the phone number that's associated. And if I hit call, obviously it will place a call to this fictitious number, um, but I'm not gonna do that. So a couple of things I can do, um, I can map out my, my service tickets for the day, I can call from here and I can filter. Before we move into the ticket detail, I just want to show you the KPI screen. It's the other tab on this main screen, and it's going to show me a couple of dashboards that are service call relevant. It's going to show me that I've closed 19 tickets this month already. That's up 280% over last month. I can also see the top five items that have been fixed, uh, which the Rainbow 1200 laser printer is by far out the lead with 12. I can see the customers I've seen the most, of which Kona Enterprise seems to be one that I've been to 10 times in the last uh, month or so. And then at the bottom there, I can see kind of my uh, service closed tickets over a period of time. And um, my trend is definitely going in the right direction as it comes to August. So pretty simple. These are uh, HANA dashboards that are defined as advanced dashboards and can be customized um, for uh, your individual needs. I'm going to go back to the tickets and let's uh, drill into one of these. I'm going to um, actually pick the first one that for 1030 and I can now see this is some more details. Um, there's some additional memory that's required for a motherboard that we sold them. This is to Parameter Technology and my main contact is Daniel Brown. I can see I'm supposed to be there at 1030 
And if I want to, I can go ahead and edit that. Um, but what I'm going to use is the check-in feature. I'm going to hit this check-in button and it says, do you want to confirm your check-in? I'm going to say, yeah. It's actually going to take my GPS location and check me in at that location when I hit the check-in button. So when I pull up to the front door, I can hit the check-in and start kind of the time recorder. Um, I can see this was for a specific item and the item description. It was for a motherboard. But what I want to do is kind of go into some other information. If there's any service history, of which on this one there isn't, it's never been serviced before for this particular item or serial number, uh, I can do that. Um, I'll show you the take photo and uh, we saw the phone call. I can click on the circle with the three ellipses and get some more information. I can see if there are any attachments, which in this case, when they created the service call, they actually um, showed me, uh, did some attachments so I can go into this log text and see some information that someone assigned to me. It's basically a log file. It has some error messages about uh, this motherboard um, demo data. Anyway, um, one of the things that I can do uh, while I'm on the saw, I can again drill into my location. Um, I can see that. And then if I want to, in addition to looking at attachments, I can also take photos um, as I uh, go on about my service call. So I'm going to go over here, click on the camera, and I'm going to take a picture just for uh, demo sake of this uh, modem. And I'm going to say use that photo and I'm going to say done, and it's actually going to, um, I need to give it a name, and now click done. It's actually going to save this image back to the service call as uh, an attachment. And I can see that I've done that. There's my modem uh, PNG file. So as I'm going through my service call, I can go ahead and um, take photos of things as we go along. Let's say I, I fixed this motherboard. It was really a seating issue with the slot and all things are good. I'm gonna go ahead and again, click on the lips. I'm gonna enter a resolution of which I've already entered and fixed the problem. I can um, by wiggling it, sorry. We go it, click done, update it, and I've saved my resolution. I'm going to go ahead and click next, and it's going to bring up all those details. I'm going to hit the signature, and I'm going to walk over to my contact Daniel and actually get his name and his signature, and I'll go ahead and click um, yes, and it's going to save that, and it's actually going to close out that service call. Okay. If I go back to my home screen, I can see that it's popped off. Okay. So um, I'm on to my next call. Let's assume it's 5 p.m. I'm going to go to this, this medium priority call um, where the toner is bad on the Rainbow 1200 laser printer. And I'm going to show you one other feature. Um, this is for the... Uh, a006 item, which is the Rainbow 1200 laser series. And I'm going to use the serial number scanning feature. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to walk over to the printer and I'm going to scan, scan this barcode. And it's going to say, you know what? I know that's a serial number that we sold to them. And it's for the A006. I say, yep, I want to hit yes. And it actually takes that serial number and enters it into and updates the service history that you can see popped up there real quick. Um, so I've got more information. Again, I can look at attachments. Uh, I can look at resolutions. Um, I can, you know, cut and paste into there. But I'm going to do one other thing. While I was fixing this rainbow, it actually was a toner problem. It needed some additional toner cartridges. So I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to click sales order. And since I took three different toner cartridges out of my colored cartridges out of my my inventory, I was on my truck. I want to make sure we get paid for those. So I'm going to create a sales order and I'm going to hit the add button and it's going to bring all up the information about that business partner. I'm going to scroll down to the items. It's going to bring up a list of all the items that we have and I'm going to um, do a search for toner. 
don't know if we have that. We'll see if I, we don't. I'm going to, cartridge, I think is what it's listed under. There it is. Select it. Okay. I'm going to click done. And I'm going to say, you know what? We did three of them. Two, three at $84 a piece. I'm going to say done. And I'm going to click create. So what I've just done is created a sales order for those three toner cartridges that I installed. And when I'm done with this and I close the ticket, accounting can now go in and turn that sales order into a uh, delivery and or probably write to an invoice and go ahead and build a customer for those three toner cartridges that I just installed. Okay. I can now see I have uh, sales order number 698 right there. Okay, so um, another feature. I've just finished up. I'm going to, I forgot to do my check in and check out. I'm going to do that real quick. It's going to check me in. I'm going to pretend I did that when I walked in. I'm going to do my check out. Yep, and then I'm going to click next. I'm going to include my sales order. Click next. And then I'm going to hit the signature page to go get that uh, signature from my customer and get it recorded. Click done save it as an image and it's going to now tell us that that ticket has been closed one last thing i want to show you i would like to print out a record of what i did while i was there um while and i'm going to actually email it to the customer as well as send myself a copy i'm going to go to the ellipse button and i'm going to hit generate report into a pdf file it's going to run a crystal report real quickly and when that pops up there it is. I can see my service ticket has all the details. I can also capture the fact that I had the sales order 698 for the three cartridges, as well as my signature, as well as any resolution, fixed it. And I can go ahead and click the uh, email and actually email it um, to my customer. I'm going to email it to myself since uh, do that and go ahead and click send. So um, I can go ahead and I can also print it out if I had a, access to a printer. If I had a printer available, I could choose a printer uh, on the wireless and go ahead and do that. But I emailed it just as good. Okay. I go back and I can see that service ticket is closed. So pretty high level overview from the perspective of a service technician. Pretty intuitive. It integrates with the phone's mapping features with the phone's email functionality with the phone itself um, so that I can as a service technician get the service of calls that are assigned to me and capture the information I need about those service calls as well as close them out uh, as well as document it um, as we go. So with that thank you very much uh, I appreciate it